Today we'll again take a look on the basic stuff and that will be how to open engine. And today it will be exactly about CFM 56-5B which belongs to A320. So let's take a look at it. And as a first we start with the fan curls and for that we're gonna need this key. Fan curls hold in close position thanks to three latches. One, two, three. Those two in the back, uh, they are e you can really easily open them. You just push uh, this lock pin and they will pop out like this. And then you just pull, pull it. This front one is completely different because you cannot open it without, as I said before, uh, this key. That key you insert in, turn, and only now you can open the open the latch without it it will not gonna work and the same way and the same way you cannot remove that key unless uh, you properly close it and then you can remove this is safety feature and this flag is a very important part of that uh, of that key because once you see such a uh, thing under the engine and especially with these high-vis components you will never miss it or or you will miss it only very hardly so let's open it it popped out two and three and now basically the fan curls are free to open how to open them well you just grab the latch and lift them up they're not that heavy uh, then you have two hold open rods. Uh, they hold open inside of the guard up here and then you just extend them one by one. And then you place them on. Uh, so then the second one extends Extend. And once you have the second one out, you can install the aft one. So, the left side is fully secured and you can work on it. The other side is basically the same thing. Just lift it up. Put it on your knee and as I said before you just need to lift this pin out of the guard and then so just by pulling yeah it's very hard with one hand but yeah by extending the upper part yeah it will release and this red band actually saying that it's not locked once the red band disappear only from that point you can uh, consider it as a safe. You will do the same thing with the top one. So you lift it, extend it, and you're pulling it all the way until it locks. Now you will just lift it and engage it. Uh, same thing with the aft one. Pulling it out of the guard, extend, extend, and put it on. Now we need to deactivate the thrust reversers. So how to deactivate thrust reverser function? We are deactivating it hydraulically and this unit is responsible for transferring the hydraulic fluid to the thrust reverse doors. And how to deactivate it? You need this pin with uh, a very long flag, which will inform your colleagues that a uh, hydraulic uh, system is deactivated for the hydraulic con uh, for the reversers. Uh, it's not like on the Pret & Whitney, as I showed you on previous video, that you will get information on the ECAM. Here we don't have a such a thing. So how it works? Okay, so here is a small lever which uh, is used for deactivation. This one. So once you lift it up. Uh, you will remove the hydraulic uh, power from the control unit. So, and, f and normally you use uh, this pin over here. Uh, that pin 
is used for thermal deactivation or for when you need to deactivate the reversers for the flight uh, if you need to put it under metal every time when you need to do maintenance you need to do this uh, this pen with a flag and how to do it hopefully it will be visible but all what you need to do is lift the lever up and insert the pin and the lever will stay in uh, extended position it is spring loaded so you don't need to be afraid that whenever you remove the pin something it will gonna uh, stay like that it's spring loaded to activate position so all what you need to do again lift the lever put the pin in this is how it looks when it is deactivated and flag need to point down so it will be obviously visible that uh, uh, this unit is deactivated so again to give you a better view here is the lever it's lifted up and the pin was inserted in now regarding c ducts you have uh, four latches on the c duct and basically it is same function like on the fan curls so all what you need to do you just open them and that's it this one's in the front they will always when you start to opening they will they will uh, close so uh, you need to always during opening hold them in that position that's basically all regarding the activation of the reversers we can start with opening they have the same principle again like uh, PV which I showed you in previous video but instead of having actuator on, on the outer side we have it under the seat duct so uh, we we'll plug it in and basically the actuator which is again under the seat duct will gonna help us to open it so now we need to hold the latches so they will not gonna engage and that's it it's going up uh, we have again a uh, safety feature on which the seat that will gonna rest uh, and we have two position for this first one I'll show you in the closer detail later on a few moments later okay so I approach the first position all we need to do is disconnect this lever and place it under and release the pressure then we're gonna install the pin and that's it now it's safe to work on it you can even release the pressure and the all weight of the seat duct will gonna rest on the on this arm so uh, the workspace in this position is very tight but you can still access to most of the most of the components uh, what is advantage of this yes the the space is tight but when you look up there you can see slots and that slots can be extended yeah that's hydraulic and in this position we don't need to be afraid of that because in this position even when the slots are extended they will not gonna touch the C ducts so uh, the space is tight but you don't need to deactivate anything else in this position and this is actually our safety arm so this is the first position uh, in which you can secure it the other way around we'll just place it back on and we'll go with the C duct all the way up and then we secure it with the other end so let's do that we'll build up the pressure again we'll remove the pin pump it up pin is in and we can go all the way up so now we'll lift it up release the pressure install the pin yeah and we can release the pressure now it is important to say that i deactivate or secure the flap lever 
in the retracted position, which means that nobody should extend the flaps. And thanks to this lever, everybody knows that you should not touch the flaps. So I move to the other side and we'll do basically the same thing, which means that we'll plug the hydraulic pump and we will pump it up. And now we are approaching again the first position in which we can secure it. But again, we'll go all the way up. Yeah. Pin is in, release the pressure, and uh, now it is safe to work under the sea duct. And now you have uh, access basically to every part under the sea duct. Uh, as I said, disadvantage is that now no one can work on the slats, so they cannot be extended. They need to be secured in a retracted position. Uh, but of course, you have easy access to everywhere. And uh, this over here are the actuators, which are opening the C duct. So they're responsible for this opening. Yeah, so this hose leads over here, there, down there, and to the, to the point where it is connected to our hose. So it is a quite long way, but it is compact solution. When you're knee deep in AMM trying to trace a faulty path, it's easy to wish the theory comes easier. That's where Brilliant comes in. Brilliant helps you to get smarter every day with thousands of interactive lessons across math, science and engineering. I've used their visual algebra and solving equations, content to brush up on system logic, stuff that is essential when you're interpreting maintenance data or troubleshooting digital systems. Their approach is hands-on, you're not watching someone talk, you are working through the problems, seeing cause and effect in action. Perfect for anyone in tech or aviation. For more information, check it out at brilliant.org slash zetor for 30 days free, plus 20% off premium. Scan the QR code or head the link in the description below. Big thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and we can go back to our topic. Okay, let's uh, close them. So, first thing first, we need to remove the pin, build up the pressure inside of the piston. And put it back on. Nothing is under the sea duct and we can release the pressure. Okay, that's left side. Let's move to the right side. And the same procedure, which means that plug the hydraulic, plug the hydraulic pump, build the pressure, so it will release the arm, secure the arm, and and we can drop it down. Release the connection and let's secure it. And we'll start from the front. So we'll close first two, middle, and one all the way in the back. So that's closed. Now let's activate the hydraulic control unit. Okay, uh, let's reactivate. Uh, hydraulic control unit and to activate it again lift the lever pull the pin out let it drop and that's basically it and as I said you don't need to be afraid that it will get stuck in extended position it is spring loaded so it will always let me show you it will always get back to 
activate position. So very easy solution, but it's important to say you need to use this flag so nobody will forget it in that position. And it's time to drop the funkels. So one by one. Secure it. I'm always placing it over my leg. And again, lift it, you'll get a red bar. Very close position. Same with the other one. Lift, the red color will appear. Push it in, lock. And then you just engage it in its toe position. And basically, that's it. So we can drop it down. Slowly. That's it, the other side. This side is basically the same thing. Only problem is that the store position is all the way up. So again, I'll just drop it on my leg. Secure them one by one. Lock it, it needs to sit. Once it's sit in both position, I'll just drop it down. And and just to say secure it, you need to be sure that it sits where it should be. And Important is to notice one somebody in the, my video said it, that they are with different color, they're yellow. So that's why you can easily recognize them when they are open. Once they're once you see yellow color pointing out, it's not good. So that's about it. And again, you cannot even when you close it incorrectly that it's poking out. You cannot remove the key. It's impossible. You need to close it correct way. And only then you can remove the key. Another key component for safety is uh, the activation of the flaps and slats. And for that we have again simple, uh, simple device, which is this uh, blockage. So you just install it over the lever and there is no chance that somebody can uh, extend the flaps. So this is another safety feature which we must use to prevent damage and injury to me or to my colleagues and of course to equipment. So since we're done, we move it out and we can go. That's all about Funko's and CDEX and how to open it. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. As always, I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for your maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer. Big thanks to Austrian Airlines that they let me to record all those videos for you. Uh, as well, thank you everybody for watching my videos and special big thanks to members. That's all from my side. My name is Tomáš Dysoserka Maintenance with Zeto and I'll see you on next video. Bye.